Hello golfers, Brian Pate coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Just wanted to talk to you about a drill to help you with your start line. So I have a rope laid out here. It's about a 10 foot long rope, about starting a foot in front of the golf ball and stretching out towards my target, which is that power pole in the distance. If I have two alignment rods in my hands, I can come out here in front of my ball and put one alignment rod on the ball line and if I'm working on starting the golf ball towards the right side, if I'm hitting a draw, we want our golf ball to start to the right of the target and move towards the target. If we're hitting a cut, we want our golf ball to start left of the target and fall to the right for a right-handed golfer. If we're hitting a cut and we start our golf ball to the right, that golf ball is going to fall away from the target as opposed to towards it. So if I was working on a draw pattern, I'm going to put my second alignment rod to the right of the alignment rod that's on the ball line. So this is going to give me a window to start my golf ball through. So if I come back to my golf ball here, I can stand behind it and take a look and say, okay, those guys are lined up. They're about a foot apart. As I set up to my golf ball here, I'm going to aim my face where I want to start in between those two alignment rods. I don't want to start with my face looking left or down to the ground. That's going to start the golf ball to the left unless I do something in the swing trying to open it up. So if we're hitting a draw, we're going to start with our face pointing through those gates. Now we want to swing feeling that the club's coming in from behind as we turn and maybe slightly swinging to the right of the second alignment rod. So here's a little shot for you. So there's a the golf ball that started pretty close to the left. So it started pretty close to the target out there, but it fell towards the left as well. So I know my face was a little bit more towards the left when at impact and my swing direction was nice to the right. If we're hitting a cut, I'm going to put another ball on the tee there. I'm going to come out here and swap my alignment rod from the right side to the left side. Give myself about a foot distance in there. And you can start a little wider. If you're a better player, you can have them narrower. So as I'm hitting a cut, now I want my club face to point through the field goal. So it's going to start just a little bit leftwards. Maybe I aim my body just a hair left as well. Because remember, we want a club that's going to start it between the field goal, but we want a club swinging a little bit more left of the field goal to get that ball to curve to the right. So let's give it a little cut feel here. So there's a golf ball. From my view, it looked like it started just a hair right. From the camera, it might have started a little bit through the field goal but that golf ball fell just a hair to the right. So I know my club face was pretty good and my swing direction as I turned was a little bit more left. Also a great thing with this drill is in order to see that golf ball go through the gate, we can't keep our head down or else we're not gonna see it. So this will help us getting our head releasing, picking up the golf ball sooner and our head's gonna act like a break. If we keep our eyes down, it's going to limit our shoulder turn and we're going to run into our chin. But at impact, if we start picking up the golf ball, that's going to let us rotate through the finish a lot easier. So start with those alignment rods out there. Give yourself a little gap as you're going. As you get better, you can tighten that window. Put them out there about 10 feet. That way, as you're collecting a golf ball, you can see it go through the gate. Now. If you're a better player, what we want to do is we don't want to start a golf ball on the target line. Let's put our alignment rod a couple inches towards the right for a draw player. And we can make a smaller window here to start our golf ball through. That way we're not going to have a golf ball that's going to start on the target line and curve away from the target. Just so you can see on the cut side, Here's a little room towards the left, starting 
And there's my little window preference. So we can work on our start lines and our curve to help us get better on the golf course and see our shots and pull off what we're trying to execute.